Chameleon, founder of The Whole Thing. And our special guest today is Linda Warsham. And our topic is success in direct sales. We all know that direct sales has a reputation already. Uh, and we want to move, we want our interview to move past that into success. So I just want to, you know, put that out there as kind of, uh, I get it. There are plenty of companies and even independent reps that sometimes don't do things the way we want them to do them. And there are also plenty of people of whom Linda is one who've had a lot of success in direct sales. So um, that being said, Linda is one of our sponsors, one of our HCC sponsors. She is also a rep for three companies that I'm aware of. One is Pure Haven, some beautiful, natural, toxin-free uh, personal products and household products. Also, Simply Nano Organic CBD Cream and also Magnitude Jewelry. So in par as part of this interview, I'm sure you'll hear a little bit more about those different brands and product lines. You can also look up Linda. She's on Facebook, I know for sure. And um, right, great to connect always with each other on social media in order to take your connections that you make in your networking, right? And expand them into relationships that really pay off in friendships and also in clients, customers, colleagues, patients, what have you. All right, I'm going to keep talking, guys. Linda, speak up when you uh, can unmute it over there, okay? <laughs> uh, and we've all been using technology for a year now, right? So we know that sometimes technology just happens. Sometimes the buttons don't work. Sometimes the cloud internet doesn't work the way you want it to. And just uh, feel lucky when you are prepared for those moments. Um, okay, so I'm gonna jump back into direct sales. And by the way, Lainey, I know also has some experience with direct sales. So Lainey, we may pick on you to answer some of these questions while we're uh, getting Linda off of mute. Um, now, one of the things I want to talk about is, for direct sales is the, the thing about friends and family, right? Like, oh, I love my friend, but every time she takes on a new product or a new brand, she wants to not just sell me those products, right? But also sign me up in her downline or his downline guess what folks that it's it's not fun for your friends and family to be in that position they want to say yes they want to support you but you know that doesn't mean that they want to start a side hustle or that they necessarily want more of whatever you're selling maybe they already have a brand that they really like or maybe they just like the convenience of going and picking it up at the neighborhood store you do still want to tell them what you're selling, what you're doing now, but you don't want to hit them over the head with it, right? It's like, oh, I just got a job at Starbucks. That doesn't mean that every time I see them, I'm going to go to them and say, hey, hey, I haven't seen you in my Starbucks yet, right? So why do we do that with the products and services we're selling? And I'm simply going to say, we don't have to do it that way. We can let people know, and then they'll see that we're still doing it, and they'll come and get from us when they're ready. But, so let people know, but don't hit them over the head with it. Frankly, it works that way for just about everybody that you're, uh, that you're actually marketing and networking with, right, is 
nobody likes to be mad. And especially with friends and family, sometimes we really do want to say yes, or we're not ready to say yes, but it's also not comfortable to say no, right? So let people know, but then let them come around in their own time. Lainey, Linda, do either of you have anything you would like to add about kind of the whole friends and family dynamic of direct sales? I can add into it. I was trying to call Linda to see why she can. I don't know. Le Leslie, maybe you can help her. I, I, um, I'm not a direct salesperson or a non-direct salesperson. I guess for a while when I was president of the three chapters here in uh, Florida, I, I tend to shy away from it just to stay neutral. But what I found is that when I'm passionate about something, it doesn't matter if it's direct sales or it's not, it's, I look at the product. So I'm more about um, sharing the love and sharing the interest in it and why it makes a difference for me. And so that is pretty much the natural way to do it than per se selling, because I wouldn't sell to my friends or family. I would share why something's so great and why I'm having my own personal experience. And I think that's with anything, that's with my own businesses or it's with um, a, a product that I didn't create, but I like to represent. Um, so I think it's more about that. And if people see you more as that, uh, as if you're promoting something from the heart, um, you're gonna be much more successful than if you're trying to make a buck off somebody you love and care about. Yeah, well, and that, frankly, with people that you're connected to on social media, right? they're getting those reminders anyways. They're seeing, oh, she's doing this, but at least when it's in a post, they don't necessarily have to, right, get respond. into a conversation about it. They don't have to respond. And yet when they're ready to respond, they can. I mean, frankly, by the way, uh, so I'm, I do buy, from our members, so which means I buy from direct sales people on a pretty regular basis. Um, I now have <laughs> three almost full bottles of shampoo and conditioner. By the way, if any of you sell shampoo and conditioner, I'm fully stocked for the rest of the year, please. <laughs> but well, right? it was actually Linda who had posted something. You know, she, I'm into food and food healing, and she posted something about Pure Haven, which she represents. And it was talking about her shampoos that had, you know, basically were made out of food. And so I was like, I'm very interested in what this is. And, you know, sure enough, I, I, I bought some of the products or she, and, you know, the rest is history. I ended up, you know, becoming more involved with it. But I think that's what it is. You trust somebody and you know their background. And I know that she's very conscious about her food eating and, um, everything about her health and wellness. So you immediately will go, well, she's interested in that. Then I, I would like to, um, you know, pursue that a little bit further. Right. So I think that's what it is, is finding a trust factor. If you trust that person and you have a, a certain uh, understanding of what they're about. So then that immediately gets you right through the barrier of like, is this product good for me or not? If you know the person who's representing it. Yeah. So, um, Oh, I think Lainey, you may have answered this question, uh, but in all of that, but I'm gonna ask it again, maybe a little more directly uh, because, oh, I'll also use this as an opportunity. Let me just share this little pretty much unknown uh, fact about me. Uh, way back when, probably close to 15 or more years ago, I sold Mary Kay. Yes, I had the pale pink Mary Kay jacket for a brief snippet of time. Um, Did you have the pink car is what I want to know. Was it the no, pink Cadillac? I, <laughs> I wanted one. Boy, I thought those were really cool looking. But um, <laughs> I did not, so, but here's the question, right? What do you look for when choosing a direct sales company that you are going to represent, right? There's, there are two things I think going on. There's one, what are the products, 
that you're going to be selling do you love the products and there is also the dynamic of direct sales how do you feel about that dynamic of that's probably a great linda question and i know there's other people on here who are very much been doing direct sales a lot longer than me because i'm you know this i only see a few products that i love but i definitely want to make sure there's some solubility and there's some infrastructure yay perfect question for you what do you look for in a company's infrastructure or what was the question uh it's really what do you look for uh, when choosing a direct sales brand so why pure haven why simply nano why magnitude was there something about the product or the company that made you say yes because i mean frankly there are other companies out there that do direct sales yes i'm sorry i have to get my oh, the computer out of the way okay can you hear me okay we can hear you it'll be nice if we can see you but hearing you is more important okay okay i had to change computers um First of all, the number one thing I believe is you should be passionate about what you're selling. And I am into healthy living, so I choose products that are healthy for me. And I feel good about selling products um, to, to people, healthy products to people. That's what I love doing, to help with their health. Okay. Yeah. So that's great. You, you've got three products that really support your focus on health and wellness. So terrific. Um, when it comes to direct sales, what do you like best about direct sales? I mean, why direct sales and not a job somewhere? Why direct sales? Yeah, really. Why direct sales instead of a brick and mortar retail store? Well, that's a good question. Actually, there are a couple of answers for that. First, I definitely have control over what I want to earn. As with anything, you know, the more time you put into it, the more money you're going to earn. Um, so that's what, that's why I like about this. Um, also, I have the freedom to travel when I want to travel. And, and when I get back from my trip, I can still get paid. And how that works is I have a friend while I'm on vacation, let's say, that wanted to purchase my uh, skincare system, okay? And they love the skincare system. So they told their friend, and then their friend went on, on social media and said, oh my gosh, I love this you know, skincare system. And then they told their friends and it goes on and on and on, just like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. So you just continue to get paid, whether you're, you're working or you're not working. You know? But as I say, the more time you put into it, the more you, the potential you, the, you would earn more money. Yeah, you know, um... I think that brings up a terrific point. Uh, in my experience, a lot of companies really are kind of selling, if you will, they're selling the idea that it's, oh, come with us and overnight success. And, oh. mm. I, you know, my experience of direct sales, it's like any other business, guys. It takes time mm -hmm. to build your network. Yeah. It takes time to get people to the point where they're going to say yes. Um, and it takes a lot of customer, unless you're charging an outrageous amount, it takes a lot of customers, clients, patients to create one whole successful business. And, and by the way, that doesn't really matter who you are or what you're selling. Whole Foods sells a ton of brands, mm -hmm. right? In one big store. 
uh, but it took time to build the business of yes. Whole Foods, right? Definitely. And uh, so the companies that, oh, if you just sign up with us, everybody's gonna jump on board all right away. Well, you know, you mm -hmm. might have some people in your circle who are gonna jump on board right away. Right. right. But not necessarily everybody. That's true. That's now, true. Uh, uh, so a uh, real question, how long have you been doing direct sales? I mean, not necessarily just these three companies, these three. but how long have you been in the direct sales game? I've been doing direct sales for about eight years now. Okay. Yes. So it's working for you. Yes, I love it. Good, 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 good. And you, you know, like the idea that you can travel and still be signing up customers. I mean, and frankly, by the way, let's thank technology uh, for that. Because even when technology is glitchy, we can work on cell phones and yeah, we can work on cell phones from almost anywhere, um, unless we're actually somewhere where there's no network. Um, mm -hmm. All right, for you, what are the best ways to market these types of products? Do you really like social media? Do you like health fairs? Do you run ads? What are some of your favorite ways to market the products? And by the way, for those of you who are really doing more service-based businesses, marketing is marketing, whether you're selling products or services. So Linda, your favorite ways to get the word out? Oh, definitely um, health fairs. I absolutely love doing health fairs. I know with the COVID, we haven't had very many health fairs, you know, coming around, but um, uh, uh, Zoom, um, you can do, you know, Zoom meetings and also um, women's, especially women's organizations. I have had really good success with that because the products that I sell, most women love these products and they're attracted to the, um, the in being healthy and non-toxic and, and all that. And also, of course, social media has helped me too as well. Um, advertising on social media as well. That's helped me a lot too. Oh, so you do, do you do those like $20 booths? Um, yes. Okay, that's, uh, that's good to know. I mean, I, for the HCC, like we do them periodically, but it has not been something I do regularly. And um, I always like hearing when something works for somebody else, it lets me know maybe I should, try it a little more, right? Do it a little more often. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so now, because a lot of affiliate or direct sales, right, is people have to click on your link in order to buy from you. So I have a question. Do you have one website where people can find all three of your brands? Or do you just give people three different links depending on what you're talking with them about? Well, actually, I have three different links to the three businesses. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that totally makes sense. And uh, just want to reiterate for those of you, especially any of you who might be new to direct sales, right? It is a choice. You can either be marketing your direct sales links individually, or you can set up one website where you might have all three links kind of front and center. So you're feeding more people to that main website, but then they have to choose before they go on. And I, honestly, that for me is a six of one, half dozen of the other. It works mm -hmm. both ways, because the point is still, you got to get those links out, the word of mouth, the, yeah. People need a place to click and purchase. And by the way, another perk of direct sales from my point of view, is if you don't like negotiating price points, direct sales makes it really easy, right? Here's the product, here's what the charge is for it. Sometimes there's a discount or 
buy you know this amount and you'll get free shipping sort of a thing but you don't have to always be figuring out how much am i going to charge for this right um that was certainly some of my thinking when i got the holistic chamber of commerce started was like i don't want to negotiate coaching prices for everybody and the nice thing with a member organization is you're basically setting up different price points so people can choose what's going to work best for them and direct sales is really a larger company that's doing all the math in the background so you don't have to think about those details uh okay so linda what would you say are some of your top tips for anybody who's either uh new to business or wants to up level their business uh, especially if they're in direct sales, but uh, really, to me, a business is a business. So whether it's direct sales or something else, what are your top tips? Well, of course, you want to be very passionate about what you sell. You've got to, and you've got to be, you know, you have the passion for your products that you sell and just get out there and, you know, market your, your, your companies, uh, tell people what you, you know, what you offer and you know they they may be interested in 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 one of one of my products but not the other one which is that that's fine you know if there's something for everybody you know i that's why i like to do the three because they they don't com compete with each other they're three separate you know health health businesses yeah. yeah just get out there and market yourself and and you know join groups and you know do as much as you can. <laughs> so, uh, old Zig Ziglar quote. Oh, I can't believe I haven't thought of this quote for a long time. Um, but it made a huge difference for me when I saw it way back when. If we worked for ourselves the way we used to work for our previous employer, we would get where we're going much more quickly mm -hmm. right like when i think about how i used to work for my old boss ay, 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 ay. i was you know favorite employee work all day every day come in early stay late but then when i think about that quote i also think about you know the point of starting my own business was that I would get to a point where I really didn't have to work all day, every day, right? Mm -hmm. We're in the holistic industry. At some point, it's about how do I also have a personal life? How do I create, you know, time for friends and family and self-care? Um, and by the way, for any of you who think I might be a role model in that area, I spent a lot of the early years of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce all work all the time and it has only been recently that we've gotten to a point where i can now travel and you know check in with what needs to be done but also take time off um my sense of balance <laughs> is really the balance of a lifetime is many years spent working crazy hours and now getting to the point where i can tra transition out of that and have a much more balanced lifestyle linda how would you say in the world of direct sales uh it's been for you and creating balance for yourself oh it's it's been great because as i say i can you know if i want to travel i can travel um and i you know and it i can still you know get a paycheck when i get back you know for my trips I, I i said that before um it's just to me you know i have control over what i want to make my boss is not saying well this is your paycheck this this week you know i can you know i can and i can work as much as i want to or as little as i want to depending on the week and you know what i have scheduled for that week so it's also been it, it also is perfect now for for when the when your kids are now are home homeschooled basically because of COVID, it's a perfect oh, yeah. job for uh, young mothers you know that have kids at at, um, at home you know homeschool 
And also it's really good for retired people that you know are living off of their social security and maybe their their pension, but they want a little bit of extra, you know, mad money, you know, and it's perfect for them. It's perfect for everybody, but but especially, you know, those, you know, those people. I can, yeah, I can totally say, see the sense of that. I also think that direct sales is perfect for somebody who's got a, a service, a one-on-one -on -one service or an in-person service, but they want an extra product that they want to add so that when somebody, you know, somebody gets better, but they still want a way to stay, stay healthy, you've mm -hmm. got a product that you can offer for helping them they'll stay on board with you, right? Um, but it's tied to your primary business, which is, you know, maybe acupuncture or chiropractic, right? Um, all right, so it is now halfway through. Thank you so much, Linda, for sharing so much. Um, guys, I really do invite you to connect with Linda. I know she's on Facebook. Linda, are there any other social medias where you are regularly kind of out and about? Uh, LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn too as well. All right. Well, those are my two favorites.